Returning to Just for Laughs, it's LaBelle Crawford. LaBelle Crawford, come on out. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, man. I love Montreal. It's a beautiful state and it's a good food state. I love the food up here, man. I had some poutine. I didn't even know what it was at first. I was like, what is poutine? He said, you want some? I was like, maybe. <laughs> and come to find out, it's gravy over french fries with some cheese. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know how long I dreamed of putting gravy on french fries and then cheese? <laughs> oh, but poutine don't come out easy. <laughs> I was poutining all day. <laughs> My mom wanted to come, you know, but she's a mom, and I'm a mama's boy, and she always got those threats. I don't know, all the mamas in the house always got these threats. You know, these threats, they don't never do. They don't make no sense. Like, keep on running your mouth, and I'm going to rip your lips off your face. <laughs> like, when did you ever do that? Say one more thing to me. <laughs> I'm gonna rip your arm off, beat you to death with it, and sew it back on. <laughs> you don't have the medical capability to do such a thing. <laughs> all right, boy, say one more thing to me. And I'm gonna rip all the skin off your back, rub sugar and salt in your back, bake you for two hours, and sell you as a honey baked ham. <laughs> I'm like, lady, you crazy. Call me crazy one more time. Call me crazy one more time, and I'm going to kick your ass into your throat. <laughs> Who have you ever done that to? <laughs> Here come my sister. Oh, you don't want none of that. <laughs> my food ain't taste the same since. <laughs> and my mom said, you know, I grew up in the 70s. That's old school, you know, back when, you know, before you needed Amber Alert. You wasn't getting, you know, Amber Alert, you know, you get abducted, they put your name up in lights. That wasn't going on when I was growing up. She gave me some vital information. She said, when you get off that bus at 430, I want you in that house. And I mean in that house. And I want you to lock that door. Don't you let nobody in that house till I get off work at 9 o'clock tonight. You got it? I got it. I got it. When there's nobody in your house, you, know, you get up working at 9 o'clock at night. I got it. And when my mama say something, she meant it. And I get in that house, I lock the door like Fort Knox. Man, like it's a ball. Go get me some chocolate milk. And be watching my favorite cartoon, Thundercats. Thunder, thunder, Thundercats. Oh, I'll be drinking my chocolate milk. This is the greatest episode I've ever seen in my life. And then all of a sudden, the doorbell ring. Ding dong. I'm like, who could that be? I go to the door. Who is it? Baby, it's your grandmama. Open the door and let grandmama in. I'm like, sorry, grandma. <laughs> Mama said not to let nobody in the house. She meant nobody's house till she get off work at 9 o'clock at night. Baby, this is your grandma. Now, I'm got two buses to come over and see you. You can let grandmama in the house. I said, I love you too, grandma. But Mama said not to let nobody in this house. And she meant nobody's house till she get off work at 9 o'clock at night. You welcome to sit on the porch? <laughs> Are you welcome to catch both them buses back to your house? But could you please excuse me? I got to get back to my Thundercats and my chocolate milk. I go back and sit down. Bing bong. What does she want now? I come back to the door. Who is it? Boy, this your daddy. Open this damn door and let me and your grandmama in the house right now. You got her out here sitting on this porch. You open this door right now. Sorry, daddy. Mama said not to let nobody in the house. She meant nobody in the house. She get all work at 9 o'clock tonight. <laughs> Boy, you know I live there. Apparently not. <laughs> you don't have a key. <laughs> I'm going to whoop your chunky ass when I get in that house. <laughs> well, that'll be around 9 o'clock tonight. <laughs> Man, and you know, and, and you know, and my, if Amber, if Amber Alert was going on when I was growing up, my mother would use it as a scare tactic. She'd be like, "See them kids' names and lights, huh? You see them kids' names and lights? Keep messing up, and y'all names gonna be in lights. But guess what? I ain't looking for none, none of y'all." I'm like, "Damn, that's why I wish I had a white mama. White mama look for their kids. They be out there with the bloodhounds." <laughs> Carolyn, say something, honey. Roof. Carolyn, say something, please. Roof, make a bird noise. 
She loves birds. <laughs> Not my mama. My mama, she'll make you so scared, you don't even want to come out the woods. <laughs> She's like, now, nah, we've been calling your damn name for about 30, 40 minutes. You've been out in these damn woods. We got these bloodhounds out here. We got the police and the news out here making me look like an unfit mother. Let me tell you something. You better be dead. Because <laughs> when you come out of the woods, I'm going to kill your ass. Now, I'm going to count to three. If you ain't out of the woods at the count of three, <laughs> you live here. One. <laughs> There he is, let's go. <laughs> you know, because black mamas, real, you know, they don't play, they don't play. But all mamas get tired, because when white mamas get fed up, oh, y'all get fed up. And he's like, I've had it up to here. I'm sick of your insubordination. You don't stay in time out. You don't eat your vegetables. You know what? <laughs> I got an idea. You know what? I got an idea. Everybody, get in the car. We're going to go for a ride down by the lake. <laughs> and the kids be like, yay! We're going for a ride down by the lake. Down by the lake. <laughs> but my mama might not ever take us for a ride down by the lake. But she'll read that in the paper, and she'll use it as a scare tactic. She'll be like, ooh-wee, that mama got tired of them damn kids and took their ass for a ride down by the lake. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Keep messing up, and I'm going to take y'all ass for a ride down by the lake. I'll be in the background talking about, first of all, you got to get a car. <laughs> Because I don't think the bus driver is going to let you take everybody on the bus for a ride down by the lake. I've been Lavelle Crawford. Thanks a lot.